So those were the thrust tests for the Rotor Geeks 1407 4000kV motor. Uh, this one um, measure kV at uh, 4040, which is pretty close to the nominal kV of 4000. Usually, it's very common to have motors uh, have either slightly higher or slightly lower kV. So the 40 kV points higher, it's it's pretty normal. Uh, so this motor uh, did actually did pretty pretty well uh, across the board, uh, showing quite a lot of thrust uh, in all the props. Of course, being a high kV motor, the amps are gonna are gonna be a little bit on the high side. But uh, you know, don't don't let that fool you because uh, keep in mind this is uh, this is using a, a power supply that it's able to maintain voltage throughout the test run uh, voltage doesn't vary a lot there's only as you can see there's only a like 0.2 volt variation from low throttle to full throttle so uh, in flight uh, your flight battery is not going to be able to maintain this this voltage so so at the same time the load the amps are not going to be uh, that high, and also the thrust is not going to be. You're not going to get the same thrust that that we see on the on the static thrust test. But uh, you know, I uh, I always say you know the static thrust tests uh, are are useful. You know, they they show you uh, which motor has a lot of uh, torque capacity, has a lot of a lot of force, especially when you compare from uh, motor to motor. Uh, on the same thrust con uh, test conditions, you can compare uh, to see which motor is uh, uh, more capable than other, and also to see that which prop is uh, drawing m has the cap the uh, the propensity to, to draw more amps than than other props. So, so they're still quite useful. Uh, so this motor did uh, quite well on this uh, this new Lumineer prop uh, 3040 by 3, which is uh, quite almost the same performance as the Rotor X, which is one of um, uh, one of the better props uh, as far as efficiency and and thrust. Uh, on three and a half inch, uh, did quite well too, and also on four inch prop. Uh, I ran it on on 4s and and yeah the the amps are showing quite high here but uh, uh, Rotor Geeks uh, on on their website sa says they've even used this motor with uh, 40 45 by 3 prop uh, without any issues so this this two blade prop should be should be no problem on 4s uh, again the m once you put it on the quad and fly it uh, and with the battery pack. You're you're not gonna see these these high amps, so so these these are somewhat exaggerated. Uh, well, that's that's the results for this uh, 4000 kV motor, uh, pretty pretty capable motor, and uh, another another pretty good option for anybody that wants to to have a a speedy three inch build. Uh, so you know that that's uh that's it for this test and uh i'll uh, i'll have some more results coming in the next few days uh this this was the second uh in the of the 7075 series of motors uh so still have to put together the data for the 3200 kv motor so that that's gonna be uh on the next video all right uh Thanks for watching and uh, until the next video.